<clears throat> Let me see how good my singing is. It's been a minute. You. You and I must make a man. All right, no American Idol for me. All right, let me stop. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ronald. I'm back with another video. And I'm on here to basically fill you guys in about the ups and downs being a job corps. So I may not get it all, but if you want to know more upsides and downsides of job corps, just comment down below. And I'll answer your questions. So, let's start about the upsides of being here at Job Corps. This one right here is going to be a short video. Not too long, but it's going to be spicy. I going to give you guys a lot of info. So, one, you have free housing being here at Job Corps. It's covered all the way. You get three meals a day. You don't have to pay for it. You get to go back for seconds as well. Um, being inside the cafeteria. Um, you got two sides. You can go like to this one side or you can go to the other side. And you get to sit anywhere that you want. There's no designated seats. Um... All right, so let me go to three. Three, and I should have had my list out for you guys of what to expect coming into Job Corps, but it's on my phone. So three, you get allowance. So for the newcomers that's coming here, you're gonna get paid $45. When I first got here December 7th, the pay was $25 and taxes being taken out. So it's like $21. It, it may vary depending on the person. I don't know what they got going on, but it may vary. Um, when you're here for 180 days, it goes up to 75. So each time when you get paid, taxes is going to be taken out. It's just like working at any other job. Taxes is going to be taken out. And so, say like a 75, you can get like $61. But it varies. But it's going to be like within that bracket, like the $61 to like $70. It just varies. Um... I'm sorry if the people that's inside the background that you hear is loud. I'm inside this TV room, which is C-Wing 401. I thought it would be quiet, but it's not quiet. So if you come in at 401 and you see this soda machine, this soda machine does not take cars, it takes cash. So make sure that you have a little bit cash on you if you want to get sodas from 401 and the prices of the sodas all right so you got a monster monster it's 250 you got a fanta orange which is two dollars you got coca-cola two dollars you got sprite two dollars you got mellow yellow two dollars and you got Coca-Cola Cherry, which is $2. And if you're inside the calf and you're trying to buy a soda, now they, I, I've been told that they've been charging people $4. But it's actually $2. And the other $2, they won't send it back to your card. Why they got it like that? I don't know. Y'all yeah, guess it may be better than mine. But that's what uh, people have been telling me circling around. So, um, what was I talking about? Um, I was talking about the money. So, after $75, um, <laughs> pay no mind to me. 
It was a, it was an inside joke. I gotta just keep that inside joke to myself. Um, but uh, seventy, it's supposed to be seventy five dollars, and they're gonna take taxes out. And if you're late to your class, they're gonna deduct a dollar. So make sure that you're not tardy or don't have any answer because that's money coming out of your pay, just like going to any other job. You gonna have to suffer the consequences but you know normally like if you had a job your butt gonna probably get fired so you gonna make sure that you there on time um so that's the money situation um so they gonna give you clothes for your trade you don't have to oh they won't give you clothes for your trade but it's gonna be a fee that's gonna be money taken out of your pay when you first get here and for your plane ticket as well that's gonna be a fee as well um and then probably like a month or two later, then they finally start taking it out of your pay. But it's not going to be as much, but probably like two or three dollars. But it just it just varies. Like everybody, uh, the way that they take it out, it's not going to be the same. Um, damn. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah, they got hella cameras. They've been adding cameras everywhere inside this building, so get ready for a lot of cameras. So y'all better not come here like on no game-related business, no drug-type business. Just be inside your own zone. Just from, Well, no, you can make friends. Don't get me wrong, but just remember at the end of the day what you came here for. You came here to do better for yourself, and you don't want no distraction. Don't let nobody get you off of your path. Because you came in for yourself, not nobody else. There's a lot of people that get caught up inside drama here. And not just the females. I feel like the nigga... I'm sorry, I was, I was about to say... Anyways, though. I feel like the guys be the main ones that be having the drama. And so, just stay away from the drama. If you see somebody about the drama, just don't hang around them. Because that's going to end up probably in them getting you kicked out. Or you're going to probably be stressing... Or gonna probably end up wanting to leave. So stay away from drama. Stay away from drama. And um I just I just mixed in like a little bit uh upsides and downsides in that with the drama, but I mean you get what I'm saying. So let's see what's some some the upsides of job core. Oh, you get to go on trips. So yesterday I went to the zoo. Um when you're at the zoo, you get to roam around freely. So you're basically though, you get to roam around freely with your friends or by yourself. And then at the end of the trip, they give you money to eat. Now they gave everybody $12 when we went to the zoo. So they gonna get you right. So you don't, you don't have to worry about anything. If y'all worrying like, okay, y'all don't have the money to pay to get some food, job will gonna make sure that you are right. So don't, don't be stressing about that. Um, you see other people eating. Or think like say hey like dang like I ain't gonna have no food to eat and like everybody else gonna be eating. They gonna get you right. They gonna break you off some bread. Even with the movie trips, they gonna pay for your popcorn and drink, and you get to go back as many times as you want. So, like today, today is Sunday. It's Juneteenth day. Um, and they got a a movie trip. I'm not sure what movie that they gonna be playing today. You gotta talk to probably the Aria about that. I'm not really sure because I've never been to the, the movie so I can't really fill you guys in on that part. Um, but it's definitely trips where you can go off campus. Now for the ones that's vaccinated it seems like they've been having more opportunities because they're they're vaccinated and um, I mean y I don't know like but here on campus though like the vaccinated ones, they got like more privileges, like going to Walmart. Uh, the ones who's not vaccinated, y'all don't get to go to Walmart. So we go to Walmart every Wednesday. So we get paid on Tuesday. And at the Tuesday, we go on Wednesday. So after you leave trade at 315, make sure you meet up at the CAF area so you can um, hop on the bus so you can go to Walmart. So that's another upside being a job core. Um, 
uh, say like if you wanted to go to a gym uh, or play basketball or go play pool, you can do that as well. Um, at first it was 10 people, like only a lot in the gym and the blue rec at one time and other activities like the bowling alley. But now they don't up to the 15, so it's more people. And now females and males can go. At first it was only by one dorm. Now it's all dorms can go. It just gotta be 15 people. So make sure you get there in time if you wanna go with your friends or you plan it out. Um, uh, I know there's some stuff I'm missing, but if you guys have any questions down below, um, just send it, just send it down below and I, I'm, I definitely answer y'all questions and fill y'all in. Um, so let's go to the negatives about being here at Job Corps because I know on the phone, they tell y'all one thing and then when a lot of people get here, like me, it was something totally different. Like I came here for decking. Like if y'all, for the for, for the who's ever watching this video right now, if this is your first time watching this video, you guys got to click on my page, and if you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, so I can post you guys more videos. Um, um, there was, um, I had a, I have a huge brain fart, but I was talking about the negatives, and, um, all right, so the negatives, I'm just gonna go over this part and I probably end up remembering. So the negatives is like, if you're not vaccinated, you can't go to Walmart, but you can get somebody to buy stuff for you at Walmart. Um, for the ones who smoke cigarettes, you only can smoke cigarettes, but you can't smoke black and miles. And we got a curfew. Monday, uh, you can't leave the dorm at the 9.15, 9.15, we got roll call. Tuesday, 9.15, we got roll call. Can't leave the dorm. Wednesday, 8.15, we got roll call. And we got dorm duties, too. So dorm duties is basically like responsibilities, chores, at house um, you have, and you got to do it. Like, each body's, everybody's going to have a chore most likely on your wing. Um, and a lot of new beginners that's coming in, they don't normally get a chore. You got to wait, like, a week of you being there, then they probably add you on the list. It just depends. Um, and so, uh, the downsides is, uh, mm. another downside, because I know I was just telling you guys about roll call, and if we got any more questions about roll call, once you get here, you can ask your, your roommates. Um, they definitely help you out. So downsides, being your job core, once when you're on the phone, they gonna reel you in to make it sound all sweet. But just know that when you come here, it may be different. Not for everybody, but just for some people. Just like I came here for deckhand. And they told me on the phone they didn't have deckhand. And so I was like, uh, well, do you guys have anything else that I can do, like, to substitute it? So, they was like, material handling. Material handling, you need your CLA. Your CLA is basically a test that you need, well, a certificate that you need to go on deckhand. So, I was like, so, okay. You know, that'd be beneficial because that's something that I can skip whenever I go on deckhand. So, I just go ahead and get it there. And so, my while me being inside material handling... I have people telling me, it was like, say, hey, okay, you get certified for your forklift. That's true. But that forklift, it's only a job for a forklift. But the upside is, though, it's going to be experience for you. And if you put it on your resume, it's going to look good on you. So keep that in mind. Um, and so that's how come I had did deckhand because my COA, I needed that to go to deckhand. And... Um, the downsides, um, it's a lot of drama. It is so much drama. Oh my gosh, it's drama every day. And people be lying on one another's name. Like, just stay away from the drama. Please stay away from the drama because you can get caught up in it and it's gonna be a fight. Next thing you know, you're going home 
like four days ago. All right, so it was a fight like happened last week. Nah, nah, nah. it was like. But anyway, though, it, yeah, it happened last week because Sunday counts a new week. So it was like last week, Tuesday. And this one female, she got beat up inside the dorm. And somebody was recording. And so they airdropped it to a lot of people's phones. And whoever got that video, they all got kicked out. And it was like 13 people. Then some people say it was 22 people. Either way, it goes a lot of people. This campus seems dead right now. Uh, but that goes to show, like, a lot of people, they be with the drama-ish. And you just got to stay away from the drama. So make sure that you stay away from the drama. Um, um, another downside. I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Oh, oh yeah, it's, you're going to be doing a lot of walking on campus, a lot of walking, and it's very hot here too, this weather is bipolar, this weather is bipolar, if you're from Georgia, now when it comes down to this heat, you can relate, like it's being humid, and you're going to be sweating a lot, but for the females, I know y'all ain't going to be wanting to be sweating a lot, even with males, y'all not going to be wanting to sweat a lot too, but it's very humid, like, Make sure that you bring you some some shorts, like after you got a tray, because during trade you don't have to wear your trade clothes. So make sure that you wear, you bring you some uh, some shorts. And in the winter, oh, it gets awful. You talking about four degrees, and then it'll be feeling like it's in a negative four degrees. Like that's crazy. Being a Georgia boy, I'm from I'm from Savannah, Georgia, so I'm not used to no four degrees of weather. So. I had to put up with that. I, I'm not going to adjust to that weather. Like, that is totally new to me. But, hey, you don't got no choice here for your trade. So, it is what it is. Uh, so, that's the downside of the weather. A lot of walking. If you don't want to walk, you can get accommodation um, through wellness. But it got to be a good reason. Like, you got to have something messed up with your legs. Uh, something really that's going on with you that's going to affect you from walking. And then they just put out this one. Um, it's like a, a bucket. And they got ice cold water in there. So if you see the bucket, you can get you ice cold water for free. It's for everybody. And um, that'll help you out when you're walking. So this is a... 18 minute video. This is the longest video I have made. Um, and if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you guys want to see some more videos, of what you guys would like to know put it down below inside the comments and i get a, a video together for you guys so that being said thank you for tuning in and i'm out